So I'm here with some of the best iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPhone 3G news that there's been in about five days. Since the release of the 21 firmware, everybody's been down because there is no jailbreak for the smoother UI firmware. But now there is. It's not an official release from the iPhone dev team. I want to stress that. If you're scared to use it, um, don't be because it's from, it's still QuickPone, it's still QuickPone. Just a modded version of QuickPone, which will work for the 2.1 firmware. Um, pretty quick install, you know, download, jailbreak, um, and I'll go to the computer screen now to show you how to use it. So, when you first download the .rar file, or whatever file it comes up with on your computer, .zip, whatever, um, you will get a WinRAR archive. Just put extract files with Win Win with WinRAR, and it takes about five seconds to come up. And just save it to your desktop. It's a lot easier if you save it to your desktop. Just click OK. I've already done it, so it'll give me a file replace. It just takes about 15 seconds to do. And then once you extract it, you'll get this file that says QuickPone 2.1 GUI Jailbreak. Also, both of the WinRAR and the fo folder say QuickPone 2.1 GUI Jailbreak. So just open this and you'll get quickpone rc 3morphyversion just double click that and double click the one that says quickpone just it's, it just says quickpone and when you do double click all that you'll get this the new modded version of quickpone looks just like the normal one but it works for the 2.1 firmware so it has all three devices but it needs to note that this does not does not work for the iPod Touch 2nd gen. It does work for the 2.1 firmware, but not the I iPod Touch 2nd gen firmware. So I'm on an iPod Touch, so I'm going to click iPod Touch. If you're on an iPhone, just click iPhone. Um, click Browse. I'll have the link to download the 2.1 firmware in the link in the description of this video. Um, right there, it'll say iPod 1.2.15 F137 Restore. Open. And it'll scan it just for a few seconds so it's done scanning and just click next at the bottom right corner and it'll give you an option to uh, replace boot logos, add city and add installer I would recommend you check all of these if you want it to really be customized just click all of them if they're not already checked next you are now ready to start Ponage process on your device. QuickPone will attempt to close iTunes if it is open. Note that the use of QuickPone in virtualized environments is not supported. Please connect your device via USB now to continue. So make sure your iPod or iPhone is connected to your computer with your USB cord before you press next. So when, you st when, you st when it is, just click next. Wait for your iPod to connect in recovery mode and it'll already be it'll automatically put it into recovery mode as you can see right there it's definitely in recovery mode and hold down the home and power button together for that many seconds it'll it'll give you an automatic timer um, just for 10 seconds and release the power button and continue to hold the home button for over 20 30 seconds it'll give you and I'll come back to you guys when it's done 30 seconds because it's annoying so it's done. Wait while your iPod is prepared for jailbreaking. And don't worry if you get this blank screen on your iPod. It'll just and I'll come back to you guys when this process is done. And it just say uploading X Play Bootloader. Alright guys, so it's done and it says the ponage process appears to have completed successfully. Please wait for your device to reboot in its newly modified state. And you should get a big check and your iPod or iPhone should look like this a black and white pineapple with the spin wheel um... then that's what the replaced boot logo will look like so if you don't like that then don't do it but I recommend you should because it looks cool alright guys so I couldn't continue at my original you know scene spot because my power went out but as you can see my iPod is pwned on the 2.1 firmware perfect with the theme and everything so you know it's Joe Broken. Um, no, I don't know if you can read right there. It says Cydia and Installer somewhere else. Right up there. Installer. No, stop. Installer. And 
That's how you jailbreak your iPod or iPhone and iPhone 3G on the 2.1 firmware. Have fun, and I hope you like the new Genius and whatever else they put in the 2.1 firmware. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. That can don't kill me, can only make me stronger. I need you to hurry up now, cause I can't wait much longer. I know I got to be right now, cause I can't get much stronger.